Morning, girls. How are we doing? We are back with glitter and lasers, and you guys know I'm excited because this is my first virgin, vir, virgin, virgin voyages. <laughs> my first virgin voyages cruise luxury at sea. I'm so excited, guys. Um, I'm gonna come out with a controversial opinion. Firstly, hello, Hannah. Please don't strike me again. Uh, secondly, <laughs> she, she's looking actually not that bad. I don't know why the reds kind of works for her. She actually, you know, she was arguing she wanted to have a waist. Like, I wouldn't go that far, but she's kind of getting a bit of shape. So, I got, you know, you look good. There you go, Anna. I compliment you to start with. So, you literally can't strike me. Now, that's her contract. Just like you possibly had a contract version, and I had a look at the description, and I didn't really see anything saying this is a sponsored video or anything like that. I'm just going to quickly say you did thank them for hosting you. However, that certainly does not mean the same thing as this is a sponsored video. And based on the title and the hashtag Virgin Hot Voyages, it seems like it's going to be a sponsored video. But, you know, who am I to say? I'm just a potato in a dog suit. Ahoy there, guys. Ahoy. We are in the first... All right, Marine, calm down. Let her go. Oh. She's better with her arms down. Not because of, like, the bat wings or anything I got, because, like... She kind of escaped a little bit here, which is weird because she's not like symmetrical. Voyages, Scarlet Lady. We're gonna be cruising yep, yep. through well, the Caribbean for the next five days. Exciting! I'm so excited to take you guys with me. Let's go! What's with all? <laughs> but she's enjoying herself. Today. I'm enjoying this day. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, she's blocking a lot of the light. That's what I'm gonna say in my very diplomatic, nice way. That's definitely not hateful in any shape or form, Anna. Just so you know, uh, she's blocking a lot of the light. It's not a, it's not a great look. Is it a sauna or something like that? I do like me a sauna. Uh, fantastic. Uh, it'd be nice if she kind of goes into the details because I like the idea of cruises. I've never done a cruise because I'm pretty much like a free spirit. I like to go on holiday and just go like, where do I want to go today? What do I want to do today? And I can just pick a direction and start walking. I don't really like voyages where I'm kind of stuck with people and I don't like people. So that's firstly a negative. But I just like like to be able to do what I want. And I'm saying, well, you're stuck at sea here for two days. We'll see sail to some random place and you only get to go out there for one day. I feel like I'd be annoyed and I wouldn't feel like I had a lot of time to do things. But this talk about us maybe doing a voyage in the future. So maybe, you know. Oh my fuck. Oh, I'm going to reduce the signs for that for you guys. Because that was fucking... I, I forgot how, how annoying her promotional videos are because she is all over the fucking place. Wow. <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> Oh my god, I'm actually fucking tired. I wasn't expecting to see that. I don't know why, because I know the ocean's involved, but I wasn't expecting that. Um it was like an orgy of fucking jellyfish having at it. Holy fuck, bro. Oh, oh. Does she look good here? Yes. There you go. That's a, It's a shit sandwich right now you're getting, Nana. So you got the jellyfish comment. You're getting a praise here. Give me one more second. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> See, I knew. I said it. Give me one more second. I'm not a liar, Anna. You will You will come to know this is a point for me. Oh, you know what she says about the itty bitty titty thing? She really, it really makes sense. Also, that woman has a lot of confidence in that strap. I don't know. Maybe that's a full size strap. Don't look full sides because it's kind of cutting into her like cheese rot wire there. Um, I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't trust that unless it's made of, like mithril or something like that. Oh my! <laughs> Jesus fuck! So I feel that's all I need to say here. Uh, <laughs> I hope we get to the point of like not blaring annoying music and get to the point of like talking about the cruise or making the cruise look actually. Like fun in any way, because this isn't. Oh, there we go. I wonder how many people jumped on her thinking she's part of the amusement right. Oh, we go. We're gonna talk about the cruise now. Can I turn I'm up here again? at the airport and I'm Yay. out on a week-long adventure with Virgin Voyages to the Caribbean. Let's wow, go. that's crazy. Are they sponsoring you in any way? Are you gonna admit that or talk about that anywhere? Was it any Y'all. Y'all. It was right now. Right now. What was right I now? I realized. What? That I have booked a cruise. Uh huh. To Mexico. Okay. Cool. Uh, bro, you literally, and I'm just going to say literally, your last thing was a yacht expedition, which is in a tiny yacht for like, what was it, three days you went on? Four days? It was something like that. It was like three or four days, which, you know, is half a week, so it's not really that much longer. And also, you're on a giant fucking cruise ship this time. Like, 
the, like, if they went the other way round, it would make a lot more sense. You know, it's kind of like the, 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 you know, the rising, you know, orchestra heading towards the great crescendo, you know, crescendo even. I, you know, I'm sorry, my accent, because, you know, me, I just sound like this, unfortunately. But it's like, you're like, hoping for like a rise in tension. So you start off with her like kind of pushing the boundaries a little bit. Maybe she like goes on like a, a day trip somewhere with a group of strangers. And that's really unusual to her. And she's really worried and nervous or something like that. That makes sense. And then she goes on like a, like a, like a cruise or something like that. Something that's like a lap of luxury, you know, there's a lot of room. She doesn't really have to interact with people. She's kind of just on a face in a crowd of like a thousand people. And then she gets stuck on like a little intimate yacht trip where she has to get pushed even more. Out of her mind. That would make sense. As opposed to like the yacht trip, which is like considerably more stressful in my opinion than this would be. But she's trying to make it sound like a big deal. It's like, oh, no, really. The yacht was, the yacht was crazier. On Cinco de Mayo. So oh, crazy. crazy. Because I have a feeling a lot of... Oh, Cinco de Mayo? Don't you mean... That guy was definitely having a wee look there. Don't you mean Drango de Mayo? Because I've heard she's an alcoholic. Possibly. I don't know. Because I don't research shit. <laughs> People are going to be consuming a lot of margaritas. Yeah! Oh, no. She is playing that like a fucking flute. She knows what she's doing there. Ah, you know I'm watching you know I appreciate that. What have you got in that there Mountain do there? Have you got a wee bit of vodka there? Is that perking you up in the morning? It's like a little flute. It's okay, the little? That was unnecessary, Anna. <laughs> Why do we both say flute? Just a sausage and a tortilla. No, nope, just a big old sausage. Yep, I, I know exactly what you're doing. Man, like, hyped it as like an authentic Austin cuisine. Meanwhile, I've lived here forever and never heard of this thing, but... Really? That You bought that? Who the fuck buys just like a sausage wrapped in a tortilla? <laughs> that just seems like really fucking lame, especially when you're in the airport and that probably costs like 30 bucks. I mean, it'll do. I just needed some protein for breakfast. Quick. You look like a woman who's really concerned about your protein intake. <laughs> Little flight to Miami when we'll pick up our boat and set sail. Yeah. <laughs> that sounded cheesy, but you know. Didn't. Doesn't look any more cheesy than anything you usually do. I'm cheesy, so it works. You're yeah, you are probably about 80% cheese. You are right with one thing. See, I'm more, oh my fucking god, stop it! I'm more interested. Yeah, I'm gonna turn you away to. I'd be more interested if we were getting her talking about like, I don't know the cost of it, if we're getting like an idea of like the the travel, you know, because she probably has done other things where she talked about specifically the travel, but why aren't we hearing about like, oh, she had like two seats on the airplane or something like that. Like that's something to talk about, like, you know, for her to have her personal growth. Oh, there you go, sorry. Sorry, and I had to turn you all the way down. Because your music is, what's that terminology? Oh yeah, loud and really fucking annoying. Miami, I'll be yeah. honest, this airport always stresses me out. I think it's because the ceilings are really low. Like How often do you go through it? The, like, this is the thing. For her who claims to be the biggest fucking ooh-wooey victim who has ever existed. Like, remember the remember the yacht trip, the one she definitely didn't strike me for? Remember the yacht trip where she was like constantly complaining, constantly about everything. She was so, so negative. Like... You're making it sound like your world travel. Did you have specific likes and dislikes in different airports that you have visited? Like, oh, I always get stressed in this airport. I mean, have you been to this airport, bro? You're like a global world traveler who gets paid by companies solely because you're a large old lady and they like to put you on the promotional pictures. That is literally your life. You're not a victim in any way whatsoever, bro. Okay, so stop trying to fucking act like it. If God, it's... She made it, like, the trip look really fun this time. We didn't have, like, a dramatic opening like we did with the yacht thing. So maybe she's not going to whine this time. If she does, I will be kind of proud of her. I'm going to hold my breath, though. Like, for an airport, the yeah. ceilings in the Miami airport feel A, low, yeah. and B, like, 1990s office. I find it hilarious. I'm not just saying, like, 2020s office as well. This is literally what the inside of every office looks like still. Yes, that I've been to Miami airport, like, a bajillion times. Oh, my God. What a victim you are. And it doesn't matter. I still don't know where my luggage goes. Wow. I'm still going to wander around this airport. She's so... We got a granny! She is so fucking upset. Come down, Ken. For a minimum of 20 minutes <laughs> yeah, she's before. Like, Stop looking! She's, oh, he's looking nice too as well. Or, she's like an oil. Her head's going to turn like one fucking 80 to have an actual good look. Find my bags. Oh, damn so. it. She gave up. You know. Oh, so good. Consistency, at least. <laughs> I just love, I just love, I'm sorry. She can't talk about, like, shame or nervousness or anything like that at all. She is, like, so confident that you just strutting through just talking away to a fucking camera no matter how many people just stare at her. Next I day. I just realized. I just realized. Please don't start whining. I just in getting in this Uber. 
In this hey, bye. Why did you say just Uber like that? She talks normally. 99% of the sentence, I say, uh, hey, bye. <laughs> Calm down. I left my CPAP on the plane. Oh my God. Two things. A, I am without a very. Did you, what, did you actually have, why the fuck, okay, firstly, how the fuck do you forget CPAP? Secondly, like, what, do you have a, I've never heard her talk about CPAP before. Like, you know, I've heard like Foodie Beauty talk about it and I've always been on the assumption that once you get to decide you're going to need a CPAP, like, how would you forget it? It's literally like, if you had like a dialysis machine with you, this thing is literally keeping you alive. Expensive piece of medical equipment and I am super mad at myself. Oh, do we think she's lying? Because like I said, she always has to be a victim. And right now she's about to go on a, like all expenses luxury cruise that she's more likely being paid to go on. Not even just all expenses, she probably is being paid to go on it. Do you think this is how she's like trying to be like, look at what a victim I am? I forgot my super important CPAP. For leaving it, because it is not something I want to have to replace. And okay. I'm annoyed. I'm just like mad at myself, which is not a great way to start this trip. Wow. And two. Stop whining so much. I have the world's worst sleep on this trip. Oh my so. God. You probably just have the world's worst sleep on that trip in general. I'm sorry. You're really big. And those like boats, like, I, I, I don't know. Maybe they have like lovely beds. I just assume it's like a hotel. I've never found hotel beds really that comfortable. Wow, this vacation is going to be a banger. Oh my God. Stop fucking whining. Holy shit. You're literally being paid to be a fucking model as a fat lady on a cruise. That is literally it. That is your resume. Your resume is your BMI. You might as well just walk in and be like, what are your qualifications for this job? Like, I eat lots of cheeseburgers. Like, you're hired. That is literally your life. You're fucking whining. Stop it. You know what? We've learned her. I can't wait. Caffeinate religiously. Well, see him. Through, but, uh, I'm drinking a monster right now. Whoop, whoop. Uh, I will never, ever, ever forget my CPAP again. If I can find it. Well, um, if, if, I, if I can find it. Yeah, it's probably uh, in, behind you in the in the boat because you're being so fucking theatrical about this. I don't buy it. If I can get it at the airport, we're in the process. Oh my God, imagine she might wear that Hawaii Five O and like the shorts combo. She might wear that because she did post that right before. She, oh, the, I don't know where, maybe. I would love that. I didn't see it in the in the teaser at the start. I would love her to show up and not would laugh my tits off. So, talking to the airline and everything, but just like fingers crossed. Crazy. Our Are you making this poor Uber guy just fucking sit here and just listen to this shit? <laughs> Imagine you're like an Uber driver, you're just sitting there like, what is your destination, please? <laughs> Way home, they find it, and I can take it home because at least, at least that would be like a decent end to this to the situation. Crazy. You know, I had a feeling something was gonna go wrong. My intuition oh. is never wrong. And you are such a fucking moan, bro. Holy shit. I had this feeling that something was going to go wrong, and I was like, nothing's going wrong. It's all going great. Wow. Until I realized I left my CPAP. Wow. Even when it's not like just copyright free music fucking blaring, it's still really annoying. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I don't think we have any like version shifts because like, every once in a while you will see like. In Belfast, you'll see like a, like a big cruise line. There's been a lot of them recently, but I don't think there's any virgin ones that look like it. So this is quite distinctive. It would stand out. Look at all those funnels. Also, I probably should have made a joke now that I'm mentioning Belfast. I probably made a, should have made a joke at the start of this video saying I'm an Northern Irish boy. We've got we've got a bit of experience in fucking massive cockups to do cruise liners. So you know this video right up my alleyway. I feel like I'm designed for this. Uh, am I weird because I just don't think cruise liners look particularly like cool? I just like okay, they just I don't know. These are like floating boxes. They're really not that interesting. Wow. We're here. Uh, I thought we were gonna be like mad early. We? Apparently, we are the last people here. Wow. Hi, unlike you. Oh my god, please don't. It's gonna be so loud and annoying, isn't it? Yeah, oh, never mind. Uh, so. It looks like very casual security. Hello, random guy. That's me here, by the way, guys. I'm gonna face dox myself again. That's me. I snuck in just so I'd be close to Anna. There we go. Now we go on the cruise. Yeah. This is kind of cool. It like changes. What does? It's a it's a screen, bro. <laughs> I thought she was talking about the camera. The or she's pointing initially. I thought she was pointing at the camera. <laughs> the colors. It hasn't changed it was once. Changing, and then of course it stopped. Yeah. There you go. Oh, does she suddenly have friends? Oh, let's go. Oh. Damn. Oh my god, her audio mixing is actually possibly like because my, my audio mixing, I understand. It's pretty bad. I'm pretty loud. Like, so it is hard for me to try and balance with the people that I'm watching and reacting to. Cause I don't want to be too much louder than them, but I don't want to be the same volume because that's just kind of irritating to listen to. Her audio mixing is fucking trash. How the fuck are you a professional with like Two million subscribers or something like that. And your audio mixing is genuinely this dog shit. 
Listen to this. You look like you're probably an annoying person to spend a amount of time with. Any amount of time with, honestly. Wow. Yay. What the fuck are you dressed as? What the fuck are these people dressed as? Are these all virgin people? Because they're all wearing red. That woman outside was wearing red. This woman's, the, I don't dress to get fucking drunk at a fucking cocktail bar. This person's like fucking wearing your granny's dress. This person's dressed like Prince or something like that. This person's wearing like, I don't know, a boss girl suit jacket. What? This guy's just wearing red, I guess. Why is everyone wearing red? Is this like a, a thing? Or like, is this like, I don't know. Do we not have a standard uniform? <laughs> Uh, really wanted to get this suit shot in this like corner window. Yep. Uh, you know why I made a point about how she blocked a lot of light? Look how fucking bright it is in there when she's not sitting in the window. That's all I want you to keep in mind. This isn't even really open yet, but we're just doing it anyway. And I'm just doing really We're just doing it anyway? Well, you're being paid to be there. I'm pretty sure they don't fucking care. And take his shoes off because I'm a monster. So oh my God. after taking photos in the sauna, yes, I took photos before <laughs> wow. getting to my room. We are now, I think, nearest to my room. So let's go. Wait, so she was so prepared. She was actually wearing her swimsuit under her dress. So she could immediately start posing. I'm so, like, okay, please. This is a woman trying to convince me that this isn't like a sponsored trip or anything like that. But she came prepared for photo shoots in the sauna before she even got to her room. That's a wee bit weird. Who, who the fuck is going on a cruise and is like, I'm going to wear my swimsuit there. Implying that she wore like this on like, the, was she wearing her swimsuit on the plane or something like that? It's weird. Oh my God. Yeah. Let's go! Yay! Oh! What a room! Uh, it's very small. <laughs> I realize it's a cruise. It wouldn't really bother me because I wouldn't spend a lot of time in there. But it's like the TV's nearly as big as the fucking bed. <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's a wee bit cramped. It's my home away from home. It's kind of like when I was in Japan. Like this is kind of like the size of like the, the first room I stayed in in Osaka was genuinely the smallest thing I've ever seen. But like... This is kind of like the size you'd expect in like a hotel in like Japan and their hotel rooms are generally pretty small. How do I get this thing open? I don't know. Oh get my it. god. Oh my god. Huh? You're oh. so quirky! There we go. Oh, you quirky nope. girl! Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Got it. I mean... Bonnie. God, just in case, I'll seal the virgin way. <laughs> Poor Johnny with that. <laughs> She's just... <laughs> I don't know why. Fortune was the first thing that came to mind. She's like really close to lifeboat, I guess, just in case, I don't know if she wants to like fucking jump. <laughs> Imagine if it's just like this st ship starts sinking, you just go to your back and just fucking leap for it. Like, it's kind of a cool view. It's Imagine like all the people standing in the back and she lands at the front and just fucking catapults. Take off. Is it? The yeah, it's quite a view for takeoff. It's the side of a building. I'm at a beautiful view of this parking lot area, which is sexy. Wow. I think this is probably a reason why people probably don't like you as a sponsor, like, because... What? <laughs> I have a beautiful view of this parking lot area. Well, okay, you sound so fucking entitled. I'm sorry they didn't, like, bust in an entire, like, park for you. <laughs> this place is... I said from a distance, the red actually is kind of striking for the version. It looks fucking gaudy up close. <laughs> that would not work for me. Yeah, no! <laughs> no. Is that because you're three people? Okay, you ready? Oh my god. This guy's going in fucking orbit. I can't wait. <laughs> oh my god. Terrible. The worker. The... <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> so he's crazy. Go splunking in there. Uh, sorry, I got totally distracted. I don't remember anything I was fucking saying. I wonder with this. Um, because it, it it looks like normal people. It doesn't look because like remember the yacht one was purely like an Instagram influencer thing. I'm assuming this is just normal because these, these look like just like fucking normal people just kind of like lounging around the place. But admittedly, you probably look at her if you're on Holly and think she's, you wouldn't think influencer if you looked at her like. Okay, but that's looking very comfortable. Well, no, of course this it is. is. My new home I live here now. Good. Seriously, this is way better than I could have ever expected. God, imagine if she actually just fucking rolled the seat pop out and just like hooked it up when she's lying there. Imagine if there's some kid just walking past me like, mom, what's that woman? Why should she make a sci-fi device? That helps you live, oh, honey. Oh, that's what I needed, man. Yeah, because you lead such a stressful life. Oh my god. If we cut the black screen, we're 100% coming back to her fucking complaining about something. That is my fucking guess here. Like, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. We were 
Oh my god. I'm supposed to shoot the sunrise this morning, but I'm just sore. Just hurting really bad. I'm just hurting really I fucking knew it. Didn't I just call it? It is so her videos are so fucking obvious because she always has to be a fucking victim. We're gonna have this like big woe is me thing, and then we're gonna cut back to like, oh my god, hi, yay, such fun. So I'm going back to bed. That's what I'm doing. Hi. Sorry, I just took a drink of my monster there. And I don't know why I burnt the fuck out of me. Because I'm a victim, guys. Why? The last thing I want to do, if I'm sore, is go to bed. Like, I'd rather be up. Like, I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. But lying around in pain is fucking miserable. I would rather just fucking buying some painkillers into me and just try and keep going. Go back to bed. Wow. Are we gonna have some goofiness here now in a second? I just woke up. Oh no, sorry. We haven't finished the I'm so miserable part, part yet. I don't feel great. My body is mad at me. My body oh my is God. very mad at me. You seem drunk. I'm just gonna say that. Like, I, I know that's a recurring like, joke I, I make in these videos now, where like, people have told me she's an alcoholic. That was like a drunken thing. It's like, I'm both mad at me. Like, both mad at me. Like, that, the way she said that, I, I feel drunk. I feel like she probably was on the cruise. This is the first, like, first night on the cruise. I feel she probably got fucking hammered and she probably is regretting it the next day. But the great thing about being in a boat is I just don't feel the pressure to do anything. Imagine, like most people on holiday kind of feel like doing something because it's like a holiday. You kind of want to go out and have fun and do something, you know, like I, I, I would feel the pressure to do something. I guess that's why people probably like cruises. Why? Because it's just the water, you and a a lot of delicious food. Oh, I don't know why you like it. That just sounds like, I don't know, kind of like miserable to me. That's why I wouldn't like it, because I actually like doing things. I would never go on holiday and say, like, what are you doing holiday? Oh, I just lay around in bed all day. It's like, you went on holiday, bro. <laughs> you probably spent, it's a cruise. You probably spent a couple thousand quid to go on holiday. What did you do? I don't know. I just lay in bed a lot. Like, this is why she's not a victim, because like, if you actually had like a hard life, like a normal person's like hard life, you wouldn't go on holiday and be like, I'm just gonna lie in bed. It's like, you would actually be out having fun, trying to make memories. But instead for her, she's like, I'm just going back to bed, guys. Oh, you're such a victim. I just had like the coolest experience this woman came I, I knew it, said, exactly. And I'm gonna get this wrong. And I probably paraphrase it wrong, but she said something along the lines of, as plus size women. She said along the lines of, oh my God, the state of you. <laughs> so I thought it'd be the Northern Irish response. Fucking steady you. We need to understand that it's not about waiting till you get somewhere to feel fabulous. It's about feeling fabulous wherever you're at. What? That's like probably the worst saying I think I've ever heard. Uh, possibly like ever. It's not about waiting to feel fabulous when you get to, it's about feeling fabulous wherever you, it's like that literally could fucking apply to anyone. L anyone. I could say that to like a fucking 16 year old awkward kid growing his first beard. And I could say, it's not about having the beard you want at the end of the journey when you feel fabulous. It's about feeling fabulous with the beard that you have. I can literally say it for fucking anything. That's the real tea. It doesn't it's not about your size. It doesn't it's mean anything. Fabulous. Wherever you are on your journey. We literally just hard cut from you fucking whining whilst on an all expenses paid luxury cruise. Shut up. <laughs> it's not, 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 literally you fucking crying there had literally nothing to do with your fucking weight. And you know what? That's the way I live, and that—that that is like. Yeah, I, I got that from the last like one minute of this video. The best summation of my viewpoint on fashion and life. And then how come in every single one of your videos you're a fucking moan? It's why I actually prefer her like clothes dress on ones because like she's just a fucking moan. <laughs> That's really all I can say. Imagine being on a cruise and just fucking sitting there complaining and then going, see, I, I'm always positive and I'm always like, the best. It's like, no, you aren't. You're literally the biggest complainer I've ever fucking heard. Expressing myself through dressing. I'm just loving myself wherever I'm at on the journey. It took one Jesus. day. One you, even now your top is oversized. Look at look how low that bit goes down compared to that. Even now her fucking bikini top is like six sizes too big. One day on a cruise for me to feel totally and completely broken. So I told It wasn't even one day on a cruise. You literally just got there, went to bed, and woke up apparently fucking broken. We literally had... See, Anna, when I said earlier on about the shit sandwich with my compliments? Like, see, you seriously are going here. Going like, morning time. I'm so miserable, guys. Oh, I'm so broken. It's so hard for me. Hard cut to... I never feel bad. I always feel so good. I always strive to be the best person ever. I'm so fabulous, guys. 
to hard cut, to just hard cut again to, oh, life is so hard. I'm broken, guys. It's so hard for me. <laughs> oh, John. Oh, God. My camera's falling. Rep okay, camera. I, told him I don't want to film anymore today. We're not going to. Oh, good. I've learned something. How the fuck are we in day three? What? Uh, Anna, you're our sponsor for our brand new cruise. Like, tell us a bit about it. Fucking, uh, literally, a minute and a half was day two. The entire day two was a minute and a half, and it was her fucking complaining the entire time. So I assume she just didn't do anything for a full day. About cruises. You start, and you're like, I'm gonna look beautiful. I'm gonna look great. And then... Why would you ever think that? Like, look. <laughs> like, why would you ever... All seven of you there don't agree with that. You allow yourself to devolve to your gremlin state. What? Which is where I am now. I'm Are you drunk? Like I, I, like I said, I realized I was I was joking around about this in the last couple of videos because people did tell me she's an alcoholic. But like, what what is she saying? She is in. She sounds like Nick Ricciata. She sounds like Nick Ricciata talking about fucking cops ordering shit from Denny's. If anyone gets that up, like joke whatsoever. She so, like yeah, to be beautiful, and and then you're like uh, you know gremlin. What? Literally. In my pajamas getting breakfast and you know what i'm not mad about it are those your pajamas i'm not mad about it at all what do you have for breakfast is it a margarita a little sammy and i don't mean the pizza hello <laughs> hello where are you breakfast yeah oh my god you look annoying <laughs> Sorry, just, i just love just, just having a good time in the background Did, was this like a, specifically like I, I i genuinely am curious not if this is like an influencer holiday or anything like that because why are all the staff members like dancing? And all, are Americans just like that? <laughs> I haven't met too many Americans in the wild. Are you all just like that? When you see a camera, do you just all start performing? Do you think, shit, this is my big break, guys. I'm going to make it on the YouTube. Oh, yeah. You have too much energy for this time of day. Yeah. Too much. It's too much. <laughs> we just landed. <laughs> she, like, she turned around looking, look, look, look back to have a wee laugh. That woman, that woman had already moved on with her life. In Punta La Costa? I don't know oh, if I Mexico. said that right. But, uh, Why not? you're in Mexico. Yeah. Any, okay. Anytime she leaves this ship, is she like mandated by the contract she signed to wear red? Because she entered the ship in red and she's leaving the ship in red. I said that wrong too. Probably, <laughs> yeah. We are going on an excursion today where we are going to snorkel. Where are you going? Snorkel. Oh. Hanging out at a beach. Oh. And there's a trampoline. Yep, it doesn't look like it's just water in general around you. I don't get that. Why would you go from a cruise ship to go like snorkeling? Like, there's already water everywhere around you. Which I'm very excited about. But also feel like I might injure myself. So is this like a, like a pre like organized thing? I'm assuming it's a pre organized thing. The way she's talking about it, like I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like to do a cruise where they just take you and like make you do stuff. I'd rather be like arrive somewhere and then I can kind of just fuck around and do what I want. So it's gonna be fun, whatever it is, and also definitely an adventure. Yeah. We are here and John's camera is acting a fool, so we're gonna switch over to using GoPro, yeah, uh, yeah. iPhone, and 360. Who's John? Kind of is John like her husband? Is John like her friend? Like what, who, who who is John? John just kind of exists now in this video. Because it forces us oh wait, was John not the guy? Was John, I actually I, I remember this because I remember joking because I called the dude sitting at the reception table in her like five k uh, run thing. I called him John. And I thought it was John. And then people corrected me and said no, John is a cameraman. No one told me though who actually is John. Is he just is he literally just a hired cameraman or is he like a boyfriend or something? Us to work with tools that we don't usually work with and become better at them. And you know what? I love learning new things. You're a professional YouTuber. Maybe you should know how to use a GoPro. <laughs> Look at you, look at you, you little like virgin ship compared to the real Chad ship. She just needs to Chad. Her boat. <laughs> what? It is not, in fact, a thick porridge boat. It is the catamaran in front of it. What? Did, what? 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 Did she miss the boat that they were meant to go on? This, was she so busy talking about herself to the camera that she actually walked past the ship they were meant to be leaving on? Kind of a letdown. Really? Oh my god, uh, uh, it's a bit packed. Like, not even just including her. Like, I know she has about four people, like, so it'd be a bit, bit busier with her. This looks very crammed. I wouldn't appreciate this. It's like the thing people need to realize. I love everyone else is somehow able to sit there in fucking clothes. And the second Anna gets anywhere near humans, she immediately has to strip off all her fucking gear. <laughs> she is the only person sitting there in a bikini. Nice. I don't care. Um, am I supposed to everybody else? She has definitely spent the last three days on the cruise just lying there sunbathing because she is literally a different color. Very close? No, screw it. We are in the sun. I'm going to get a tan. But we're You sexy. already have a tan! Responsibly. Oh my fucking god. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at 
Look up, she's coming for you. She thinks you're a Cheeto. Oh, <laughs> you shit. <laughs> oh my God, she died. Oh, that person felt the shockwaves in the water. They snapped their fucking head right. Look at her go. Oh, this music is so annoying. Oh, that was a, literally that was a one nanosecond cut. I didn't even get to criticize the fucking swimsuit. We are done in Cozumel. We are going okay. back to the boat and then back to the bigger boat. I'm going to make a point. I realize my plan is at 1.25 speed. But imagine he said, like, okay, film your um, amazing luxury cruise experience. Go to this amazing snorkeling thing. And all you got was, like, fucking, like, I don't like How many seconds? Like, that there. You got, like, 10, 15 seconds, maybe, of footage of her entire snorkeling expedition. It was, like, 10 to 15 seconds long. That's in embarrassing bro you're literally there to advertise and that is the best you could fucking do i'll tell you i'm a little embarrassed i couldn't get up on place games but no shit you know, it's just something to try uh in the future yeah but in my body when i'm invited next time actually do not the thing the problem with you anna is that if you actually did lose all the weight you wouldn't be invited back and you used to be like feel like i would feel hollow if someone said that to me i'd feel like oh that's really like that's really depressing. Like, I might be here, like, complaining that I'm the biggest victim who's ever victim to Uwu, but, like, you're literally invited because of your size. And actually, if you did lose all the weight, that, that'd yeah, be done. That would be over. You wouldn't get invited back to this to have another shot. You'd have to pay for it yourself because, at that point, you wouldn't be a token anymore. And that's kind of sad. Like, isn't it? Wouldn't you think that's sad? Like, being like, here's our here's our pet fat person here. She's going to look good on the po on the brochure. Has grown to support me a little bit more. So, you know what? Just another thing to work towards, another goal. Okay, so we're at dinner. Oh my god. And we're eating. She's only in this room because she thought it was a giant candy can. Eating. And like this huge stream of women come in, all dressed as mermaids, but like really sexy mermaids. Like we're talking. Okay, well, that's just a normal mermaid. Are, are we not like, are, are we not going to show this? Can we show it? Can we show this? I'm sure, I'm certain you had your phone with you. You could have filmed this. And pasties and mesh tops, which is like, do you wear what you want? But they were quite the sight to behold. So the uh, woman next to me goes, So are you though in a different sense of the term, but you are a sight to behold. I know those women and they're nuts. And she goes, okay. if you want to have a good time, go to their hall on the cruise ship and just look at what's on their doors. So that's what- Are they, I, I was thinking this is like staff or like a thing. Like I, I, I wasn't thinking it was just a bunch of guests around me all dressed as mermaids. This really, really makes me think this is an influencer thing, especially with some random person telling her, go to their, you know, Go to their hall and you'll see crazy stuff happen. What like, we're doing right now <laughs> because I am so curious. I need to know. I need to know. What Why didn't you go over and like talk to them? <laughs> Why don't be like a normal human and just go over and say hello? Oh, Literally heading up to floor 13 to check this out. It is my number one priority right now. Wow. <laughs> So nosy. Imagine having like, I don't know, just to be, be, be very fucking blunt, so little personality. Your personality is, I'm going to go look at someone else's hallway because apparently someone else did something fun somewhere else. He just needs to know. So yeah, uh, we have- This looks like a fucking brothel on the inside. I don't know why, I just, I find the interiors of ships like really genuinely on a, and I love ships, I love being on ships. I find the interiors of ships really boring because it's just this. <laughs> the swingers on this cruise ship. Yeah, you know sure. Everything's with Nick Ricciardo recently. We're talking about swingers now. They're having fun. It's their choice. Let your freak flag fly. I kind of like it for them. I just couldn't do it myself, but... What? You know? Do you have a significant other? I'm really not convinced of this yet. So was that it? Was she, Did she go to this place with these mermaids who are all sexy mermaids? And then suddenly just talk with swingers? So was that the, 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 the hall, 13? Is it Was it just like full of people having sex with each other? And somehow they were telling you, by the way, we're all swingers? That they have like a bowl of keys just sitting in the hallway or something? It's their lifestyle. Who am I to judge? So, is that was is that literally the end of that story? She went to the hall. And was like, there's some people are swinging. Somehow she just knows this. Is that it? Oh, that was really like fucking dull. You just sad because you you showed up being like, please let me in. And they're like, ah, no. <laughs> Next day, it when you say what, what day it was? Six thirty. I am. A.M. Yeah, P.M. I think before anyone else on the ship. I fucking doubt it. <laughs> Imagine having the call to think waking up at 6.30 is super early. <laughs> Just, that's not super early for normal people. It certainly is not super early for people on firstly a holiday and secondly on a ship that is staffed 24-7. Because we're going to try to shoot some images before everybody else gets up. So no we can, can see that image. have to have other people in pictures. And also, like, just be respectful that some of those...
Well, I'm going to say, like, they... So she is in the VIP cabin, guys. Just so you know, she is in the VIP suites slash cabins. Definitely not a sponsored video, like, whatsoever. I'm going to say I haven't really seen a lot of people in, like, your videos or in the background. Because genuinely, this place seems fucking empty. People probably don't want their pictures on the internet. So, yeah, here we go. Imagine. It didn't stop. Give you but, okay, so if you're saying that, why didn't you do that earlier on? There were other people in your videos repeatedly. Why don't you blur out their faces or something like that? an idea of how early I'm up right now. It's 6.30. Let me show you the deck. Because it's 6 there's nobody 30. here with me. It's not even open. Wow. Bro, there's no one here but me. Two people walk past. It's 6. There's another person standing over there. It's 6.30. Like, what, I'm sorry, this is what, for the woman who cries, I'm the biggest victim who's ever victim. It's 6.30 in the morning, and she thinks this is like, on, she didn't even know this time existed. She's like, wait, clocks can show 6.30? So, I think I found huh. the best place <laughs> on the ship to sleep. See this? This is gremlin mode. In the Richards place, if you have the Rockstar band? Yeah, but this is exactly what you're relying on in the yacht thing. This is the yacht thing actually looked a lot more fun. This looks, I don't know, this is kind of boring. Because it's like, you're nearly touching the grind. I know normal people probably wouldn't, but you're nearly touching the grind. These things, I don't know what they are, but they are like it's, literally the most common. It's like, she just kind of like, just keeps emerging. It's like her tiny head pops up and then everything else follows. Normal thing ever. I could sleep here. Yeah, you probably could. For hours. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay, nap time. Bye, me. Oh, she's so quirky. Oh, guys, she's so quirky. I look so rough. You do, yeah. Just In general. Why did it take to like the last day of the cruise for me to figure out I could just have breakfast delivered? Because like that's kind of antisocial and sad. <laughs> it's not like what people like about cruises, and that's why I said I'm not really fussed on cruises earlier on. Do most people like the social element? <laughs> It feels like you're just including this because you're just letting people know, by the way, this is a service available. It was in my contract that I had to say this. I'm a special type of gross right now. <laughs> yep, yep, well. you are. So, uh, I literally think John and I are the first people off this boat. Oh my God, are you the first person awake as fucking well again? <laughs> we are the first people to- She looks rough. Like, really. Like, I don't know if it's a tan, if it's a burn or something like that. But it's aged her. She looks bad. Experience. Bimini. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> she's got a really rough face going on right now. Like, Jen, like she has aged like 20 years suddenly. Literally no one else is here except her. Uh, and I, I realize, okay, as well, that she says she's in Bimini. Bim Bimini. Um, where is that? Because I have to, it's not something I've heard of. Maybe for Americans, it's like, because it's in the Caribbean, it's like very close by. Like, maybe Americans are like, oh, yeah, Bimini, I know what that is. Uh, I, I, I haven't never heard of it before. It'd be interesting if you, like, showed like a picture of the route that you take on this trip or something like that that'd be a lot more interesting for someone like me who you might be selling this product to because like um, I, would anyone buy it based on what she's shown you so far it doesn't look like anything different to like any normal cruise that i have ever seen and she's basically shown so little because so much of it is just her like talking random shit like Part of her video was just her going like, it would be really hard for me. I'm really sore, guys. It's really difficult to be me. The next second is her going like, oh, guys, I think there are swingers. I'm going to walk around. Some people are dressing mermaids. And I was like, what does this mean for the cruise? And the normal like exit was closed. So uh -huh. you know what? Early bird gets the worm. I don't know what the worm is in this case, but we're yeah, going to get it. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. You gotta take like a little shuttle there. Oh, my God. I don't think you need to. These people like, seem to be like walking like literally fine like normal humans. That's all I feel like I can say unless she'll strike me again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to mute this though because once again, fucking annoying music. Yeah. <laughs> Is that her sexy walkout? Because she did a bit of a sway going on with the hands there. Is that your sexy walkout there? I all I can say really is like now that I've seen like her swim and now that I've seen like Chantel swim, like yeah, she's like swimming so much better than Chantel. It's all over again. I would definitely spend more uh -huh. time in the water here and less time in the water in Cozumel, but we can't go back and change things. I'm just bar 
do you have like an allotted water time? Do you have like, you guys are only allowed an hour of water and you have to split it between the different places you go? Why are you saying it like that? That's so, like, that's what you're making me immediately think, which is probably not what you want to do when you're trying to advertise this fucking cruise to me. Now you're saying, like, well, I, I spent more time here and less time there. Why would that matter? They're on two entirely different days in two entirely different countries or cities. Like I said, you've described it so poorly to me, I genuinely have no fucking idea. Is there a, like an overall time limit? Um, that I, in our schedule, we don't have more time for this because the water is freaking incredible. So in your schedule today, you don't have more time for this, which has nothing to do with the time that you spent in a different city. What the, what the, she's terrible at this fucking tour guide shit. Like, look at it. It looks nice. Look at it! Oh my god, no. Do you know what? Not gonna lie, I thought that would be a bigger splash. <laughs> we are here and we are waiting to get aboard a boat and go swim with some stingrays. And that seems to be like literally all you do is just get on boats and swim. <laughs> that seems to be this entire trip so far. Genuinely looks fucking boring. I was like, I spent all this time. Also, especially because if you're five days into the cruise and it's like, this is literally your second day anywhere and you're just quickly going out to swim in the water for apparently a short period of time. That's what she said. I know you're going to swim just in a different bit of water. It's like, it's kind of boring, isn't it? Like, would, who would pay for this? I'm doing my hair this morning. I was like, it's going to be so resilient. Swim. Why would you do your hair this Like, you're about to go swimming. Why would you do your hair the in general? Lines, it's already jacked, so. Obviously. That tracks. looking for sure. Oh my god, I was about to say, she is once again the only person in like a swimsuit, but she's actually not, there are actually uh, two other ladies out there in the swimsuits this time. Oh, I don't know with all the guys, all the guys are salaring it up, all the guys are wearing like full fucking clothes. <laughs> this guy's even wearing like two layers. <laughs> There's a couple people here who are a wee bit self-conscious about their bodies here. Someone can taste your honey. I don't know what that means. I, I, I think I could guess what it means, but I think it's more like barbecue sauce. It's catchy. Oh, that was uh, there you go. <laughs> you were singing so poorly, they actually turned off the fucking audio just to fuck with you. Coming for snacks. Hi, Stingrays. Oh. We know you dropped the food for us. We want that good, good. I love she like personifies like Stingrays as being obsessed with food just because that's what she is. Oh my God, sharks. I'm sorry. See, that would be scary if the shark was in any way big looking compared to you. And compared to a normal person, maybe they do look big. Compared to you, they don't. Look how small that shark is. The shark doesn't want to get too close in case she fucking eats it. Oh my god, why are you so fucking annoying? I love they keep cutting back. By the way, there's sharks over there. I know. They're swimming away. They don't give a fuck, bro. They're just little sharks. Oh my god, I hate everything about this. She's having fun. Why are we sideways? Like, I is this is this a cool shot? I kind of guess it is, but my biggest problem is I immediately naturally incline my head. <laughs> so I've immediately already just tilted my head to try and make it make sense. I yeah, do you know what? I guess it's interesting enough. The biggest problem is like it's not balanced enough. Hello, how are you? Oh, look at her go! She's oh my god. She's gonna beach soon. She's swimming head towards those people. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! It's like, what is the end of Independence Day 2? <laughs> when the, the little ships were running away from like these fucking like aircraft carriers and all being carried by a tidal wave. It's basically that. Run! Oh, sorry, we're talking again. So I gotta turn you up now. Swimming with the stingrays, which was really cool. Yay! Um, we got to see like 13 seconds of it again. Yay! Oh, so Bimini is gorgeous. I definitely need to come back here where and spend like actual time in the Bahamas versus on a cruise ship. Oh, so it's the Bahamas, thanks. That's what a cruise ship's really good for, is it helps you figure out where you want to spend more time. Well, no, I could just guess I would like to go to the Bahamas. I could just guess that I would like to go to uh, a, a, an amazing coastal town in Mexico. I could just guess that shit. I feel like I don't need a cruise to spend like $5,000 to basically be a big fucking taxi to take me there for me to go, ah, this luxury, beautiful island is a luxury, beautiful island. It's like shit. Didn't and realize that. Bahamas. I took a little shower. I'm feeling refreshed and I'm going to get my hair braided. Wow. But here's the thing. I don't really know what I signed up for. Where? I just was like, oh, it'd be fun to get my hair braided. But like, do I even know what that means on this ship? No. Well, I, I'm assuming they're going to braid your hair. So I guess we'll- Like, I, if they're going to start like, fucking doing your pubes or something like that, maybe that would be an interesting twist. But I'm assuming it's probably just going to be braiding your hair. We <laughs> together. Oh, so crazy. Oh my God. It literally got braided in the exact way I thought it would get braided. <laughs> That's so wild. So dope. <laughs> it literally just got braided. That's it. Y'all. Y'all. One last dress to shoot. 
and I didn't want. Oh my god, I'm Berlin. Why are they all going to fucking casinos? I was like, I'm not gonna shoot this dress. And then I did it. I got up. I put the dress on. I put the makeup on. Well, kind of. Not. You make it sound like someone held a gun to your fucking head and told you to. It's almost like this is a sponsored video. A lot of makeup. <laughs> okay, I put some lipstick on. Wow. <laughs> and we came down. And the place we wanted to shoot is a freaking closed. <laughs> Are you, I, I feel like you're lying because you're currently in a casino and the casino seems to be empty. So I think this was closed for you specifically to allow you to film here. That's what I'm just going to assume. So there's no point. Look, there's no point. There's no one else I here. Doing this. Ugh, curse you. I'm sorry. She literally is walking around a fucking empty casino right now acting like this wasn't where she wanted to film. Stop it. Oh my god. That is like... It, it looks terrible. I'm just gonna be really direct here. I don't know how I could just say it any other way. I like, like breaking my honesty vibe. It looks terrible. And that was the most like white woman DJ shit I've ever seen. Oh my god. Why the fuck are you so annoying? Oh, some more people exist now. Oh, we're talking again. F thank God. That's it. It's time to go home. It's time to disembark and fly back to Austin. I just want to find. I'm also exhausted. Did you? I still have not found my CPAP. So. Sure. The vacation was awesome. Losing my CPAP? Mm, not so much. I love she literally made sure to end this video by saying, by the way, I'm a victim. I lost my CPAP. It's like, thanks. This is terrible. Like, genuinely. Like, even worse so than the yacht thing. Because the yacht thing, it's hard to fuck up. And she was only there for like three days. Imagine going on a cruise and showing nothing. You show nearly as much of you get going to try and do photo shoots of you posing in areas as opposed to like showing what the nightlife is like, what the, the bars are like, what the casinos are like, or anything like that, what the pools are like, anything that people would actually care about. In like she didn't even show us the restaurant. She explained a weird thing that happened in the restaurant without even showing us the restaurant. You're trying to advertise a fucking cruise, bro. You should be better at this. Uh, really bad. I know she's released like another video or two, which is like, I guess her showing like what clothes she wore and what bikini she wore, which it just feels like double dipping if I'm being honest. And I guarantee she probably put more effort into them than she did into actually advertising this because she knows full well that she is literally just a gimmick. You know, that is the only reason she is getting hired to be like a sponsor for like Run Lab or for that yacht company or for the for this because she, of her, she's a large size. She's a, a big fat YouTuber and they're going to hire her because she's a big fat YouTuber and she can like get the clicks of being like, look, I'm a plus size activist and I'm able to go on this cruise. She doesn't then have to do anything because she doesn't have to earn her spot. It's not about talent. It's not about personality. It's not about skills. It's not about anything. Hell, it's not even about views. She gets like 20, 30,000 views for this. It is solely due to her size that she gets hired to do this. And like I said, I'd be kind of humiliated if that's, if that's what my life was. But that's going to be it, guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.